I cannot believe these words are about to come out of my mouth, but today we are installing Linux. <laughs> but we're doing it my way. Mounted on this disc is something called XDSL, which stands for Xbox Damn Small Linux. And if you're a Linux user, that probably reminds you of Damn Small Linux or DSL. You can probably see where this is going. This is a fully functional Linux distro from 2006, specifically designed for the original Xbox. And it's super tiny in size. Now I've never used Linux before, so this is actually all new to me. So I dropped the disc into my console, chose my CRT's resolution, went through a little automatic setup and was brought to this desktop that shows no age whatsoever. From what I've gathered, the desktop for this distro is based off of Fluxbox, and it comes preloaded with some pretty cool things like remote desktop, paint, word and spreadsheet processors, file manager, audio player, even some games, and also Mozilla Firefox with the old icon logo. I have no idea how safe it is to use that though, or if it'll even work, so maybe I'll connect my ethernet cable and try it out online if I'm convinced enough. But since XDSL is based off of DSL, that means that most MyDSL extensions from this time period should actually work on this distro, which is kind of awesome. And although what I said at the beginning of this video is true, you don't actually have to install this onto your Xbox's hard drive. XDSL can stay entirely disk-based, so you can just pop it into your Xbox's disk tray and load it up whenever you want, which possibly makes this the easiest way to run an operating system on a video game console. I would have gave the PS2 that award, but these prices are a little little steep. Just to note, you do need a soft modded original Xbox to run burn discs like this, and it is a darn shame that nobody has ever made a short form video tutorial on how to do that. Anyway, if you're a Linux user, let me know what I should try out on this thing and be sure to follow for more.